Imagine if your heart shared a space with your brain, your beating, throbbing heart just behind your eyes. Well, that's sort of what it's like to be a shrimp, because their hearts are in their heads. Sort of. The shrimp heart isn't quite located in their heads, but rather directly behind it. The head and thorax, both at the very front of the shrimp, are actually the best protected part of a shrimp's body. Here the exoskeleton is thicker than anywhere else, so it makes sense that this is where the shrimp would store their most vital organs. That's right, it's not just their hearts that are in their heads or near them anyway. The stomach and ventral nerve cord are both located here as well, and the reason comes down to evolution. If you've ever eaten an unpeeled shrimp, then you'll know that the ocean's cockroaches are very delicious, especially with butter and cocktail sauce. But you'll also know that the armor plating at the head and thorax is much stronger than the rest of the body. A shrimp could have the lower part of its body blown off in Vietnam, Lieutenant Dan style, and survive as long as it was still able to defecate and propel itself through the water. It turns out that shrimp are made of pretty tough, delicious stuff. Having all its organs located near the head also allows shrimp bodies to become very strong and muscular, a big evolutionary advantage. But what if your heart was in your head? Well, that would require the human skull to expand significantly in order to accommodate the heart and all its associated infrastructure. We'd all be running around like bobbleheads, though the thick skull might actually be a superior location for the heart as opposed to the chest. As thick-headed as some of you are, you'd be practically indestructible. But having your heart up so high on your body could cause problems. Right now, the heart is located central enough that it doesn't have to tax itself too hard moving blood around. If this was up higher, getting blood down would be no sweat, but pumping hard enough to get it all the way back up to the head is a different matter altogether. Having a heart frantically pumping away right next to your brain might cause some migraines.